Hi everyone. I've had a really rewarding evening and I want to share it with you over these next few minutes. There's a, one of the youth from the gym that I go for the pool for my physiotherapy is in a soccer league this summer. This evening I went to watch him play most of his game. I really, really enjoyed it. You know, that that time represents a relationship that's been built now over about two years. And it's wonderful being able to invest in his life and encourage him in the things that interest him. After this, I made my way across town and you know, did my usual pool routine. I usually spend my time in the pool near the lifeguards just in case my physical disability severely flares up. I do wear an AquaFit belt. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, these are a flotation device that you wear. It's similar to a pair of of a belt that would go around your trousers to keep them up. This is made for the pool to keep you floating. So I can't, you know, my legs have certain limitations. It's better to be safe. There was only me in the pool for about half an hour. So I had a chance to talk to the lifeguards while I was doing my exercises. And one of these young men have been there for, you know, two years now. You know, it was really wonderful having a few minutes to catch up, talk about life. And, you know, I learned a few things about lifeguarding that I didn't know before. As well, one of the lifeguards on tonight is fairly new. And... You know, building relationships is really important when you're in a wheelchair. So, why I'm making this video is to tell you, even if you're in a wheelchair, even if you've had a severe accident and are suddenly paralyzed, or even if, you know, your world has turned upside down because of your health, there still is a life to be lived. And it's having the mindset of just, you know, one step after the other and you keep going and keep pressing forward in life. And in time, a new normal will establish for you and you'll be able to work out the logistics of life, such as grocery shopping, showering, and having bowel or bladder movements. Life's not over when there's been an accident. Life's not over when there's a debilitating injury that's occurred. It's part of what you put into it that's going to make it really rewarding for you. Part of this process is sharing your story with some people in your community the gym's an excellent place to start. Relationships take a few weeks to build. And during those few weeks, you can figure out who the regulars are to build relationships with. Perhaps having some casual conversation, either between sets or just the 45 second conversations that happen in the locker room when you're unloading your gym bag and your coat and just when you're getting ready to head out. So what I have to share with you is that you're going to enjoy life if you put into it. What you put into it after you've had a debilitating injury is what you're going to get out of it. You can genuinely enjoy life and whatever quality of life you have if you're willing to make the effort Part of it's being vulnerable, 
I'm not telling you it's easy. There's lots of challenges I have to deal with each day. But if you put one leg in front of the other and try your best to keep your chin up, you'll get there. And I tell you that there's that you can enjoy the life the same as a child enjoys playing ball with another child on the same street. I want you to think about this after the video ends. This isn't a message for me making noise. I'm trying to help you get your life together and get on with living if you're struggling. If I can help you by addressing a specific topic in future videos, just let me know in the comments. I'm glad to do so. You know, these videos are really for you. And I want you to have the same joy in life that I do. Thanks so much for this time that you spent with me this evening. Bye for now.